we're doing wheels, tires, everything, um, getting all of it set up, and then this is like our showpiece for you know Freddie's stuff that he does. Right. And then Freddie's in right now getting my wife's Raptors squared away because we just bought my wife that. Um, I traded in a C8 that I had because I never drive it. So yeah, we no. bought her that. We're gonna do like what's up, man? What's up, man? and uh, but. Freddie's gonna get some stuff done on that and then we're gonna order some stuff, do like bumpers and wheels and tires and all kinds of crazy shit. Hey, look, look, look who I found. Fucking I did not know that. Dominique said, here I am. He came in the Hampton the much more side and he's like, uh, come over there to the roofing side. Oh, like, this is actually, <laughs> you know Dominique? So Dominique's always out at the XRP and he's he's kind of like Lamont. They, they know everybody. Out of XRP, talking shit. That's the best. Now, I don't have to talk shit. We got a, a resident t right. shit talker. He's way bigger. I'll be like, yeah, fuck with me. Why? <laughs> fuck you, Nuke. <laughs> fuck you. on the ass now. Yeah, we're on the ass yeah. now. See, I can talk all the shit I want. Yeah, we might sell it. So this one's actually a true 4.6 liter. So it's like from, yeah, 4.6. We had twin 72s, and now it's twin 80 millimeters. Um, but it's a, it's a, bad motherfucker like i when i bought this car i bought it from uh raul torres and raul this car used to be called china white that's this is his old car china white that he used to run the crap out of um Cy lee built the car so when we got it we had to change a bunch of shit because it was all screwed up and so we changed a bunch of shit and then freddie did some body work to it got it painted got it squared away it was on an 8.8 .8 rear end, so we put a Marillat 9-inch underneath it, and that's great, but it's got 411 gears now, and trying to leave on 411 gears on a glide, this thing just doesn't want to do its job. So, yeah, and then we need a new converter, because when we went from 72s to 80s, it doesn't want to spool these, so it takes forever to get on the chip. So, we're actually ordering a, I know, I got it sitting in there. I got it sitting in there. But the problem is, is even once it spools that converter, whenever it gets out there and it's finally up and running, it falls on its face when it shifts. And then this is our new baby. Um, this is my new baby. We're waiting on axles that'll get delivered right now for it. I'll pop the hood and show you. So this is, this is one that's gonna mess a lot of people up. And because I am smart enough to realize that a lot of shit is changing in the racing world. And so, not everybody can go out and grudge race with stuff like that. So these street cars are getting a lot better. So I decided we needed a built motor. So this is a fully built LME motor. Um, it's a 418. It's got billet heads, billet intake. It's all billet internals, F1X Pro Charger. Um, right now it's got a 400 shot going through the intake tube on the charge pipe, but I have Dave at Nitrous Outlet. I'm gonna do direct port injection on it. This thing is stupid, bro. And it's full weight, full interior, yeah, heat, yeah. air conditioning. You have way more fun with this right now. And we'll have way more races with this. Way one. more fun with this. This one should fuck up a lot of the known Corvettes right now. This one should really mess it up. And plus, we take this to the track. I mean, it, it should hook on gravel. I mean, it should hook on gravel. It's got, you know, external fuel pumps. It's got an ice tank in the back. Um, we're probably going to do a methanol injection system to spray methanol into it to keep it cool unless we can make the nitrous system do that. Um, and then we got some more secret stuff. I'll show you the other shop down here. And then we've got some space back here. Um, our own tow truck. So now when we go to the truck, we actually have a vehicle that can tow all We might have some nitrous stuff coming up very soon. Um, there's a reason those, those, well, I mean, we'll do a mother bottle and stuff here for all of our stuff, but, um, the two small bottles go on the C7. The two big bottles are for a secret project that I'm going to go show you down here. And then we're doing all the tuning and all that stuff as well. House, but I just went and bought this regular cap because I'm trying to get in the truck scene now. Oh, so we bought 2024. This is the new 24. So this is regular cab F-150 four-wheel drive um, Coyote motor. And so I'm ordering all Keltrek suspension, the 3.5 drop. I've got a set of 17-inch uh, Velux coming for it with radials on all four corners. Freddie's fixing to bring it in and disassemble, do all the paint matching shit to it. Took it, got the windows blacked out on it, 
and this one should be stupid when we yeah, get done. Fun. You gotta have fun with truck. Well, and what's fun is I've got Whipple and Pro Charger arguing right now over who's gonna give me a kit for it. Because Whipple's putting shit on everybody's right now, and Pro Charger's not technically out yet. So Pro Charger's like, if you will just hold on, we will get you the first one out. Mod Nationals is the big race in Florida for like the Coyotes and the Ford, the Ford stuff. The guy that owns that, uh, Justin Young, got with me and he said, man, let's do something big. He, Me and him get along good. Well, last year I gave away some money down there for because it's on Veterans Day. So I was born on a military base. I'm big into the veteran stuff. So I told him, I said, what if I go buy two vehicles? I said, we do a giveaway. Right. He said, like a real gift? I said, let's raise a shitload of money and give these freaking things away. This one won't be like stupid build, I don't think. But I also have a line on an identical match to this, but it's white. So I'm thinking about making this one the street truck, right. like that we're gonna give away, keep it kind of mild, street drivable, all that. Name this one Coors Light, put all the graphics for beer cans on there for Coors Light. Uh -huh. And then the white one, just cause of roadie, I'm thinking about naming it Modelo. <laughs> To be a bigger asshole, I had JTX build me a set of matching wheels for the tow truck, so we're gonna put 22s on the tow truck. So tell me how cool that looks when we pull up. Everybody's gonna be like, what the hell is going on? And then we have another shop down here right now, but the guy that owns all these buildings is going to, he bought this property right here, and across the street, and so I need a lot more space. And so I told him, you know, me and him are talking right now, He's going to build me this exact building, but on that side towards the back so we can set up because I've got a dyno now. Uh, and we ordered a mainline dyno, which is the same one Fuel Tech has. We're going to stay top secret with everything. The customer has to agree that we can market right. and advertise their car. Otherwise, we're not going to market and advertise their car. We, I mean, dude, when I got lawyers that work full time for me, I don't have to worry about that. So this is the security truck we'll be having you in, but it's loaded down with all of Freddie's stuff right now. So this is going to be Freddie's little home until our new shop is built. We just needed storage for everything. And so, huh? Nope. Mine's gone. This is a top secret car. So this car is, belongs to a guy in West Texas that everybody may or may not know from Street Outlaws. His name's Brody Melton. Yeah, I know. Oh, so you bought this one? I didn't buy it, but we're, we're, it's top secret information. <laughs> this one actually, it's just outdated because they built this car in 2017. See, I remember. So this is a huge single, mm -hmm. and then I think that's a 98 Pro Mod, is what it is. But this is a fully fucking billet everything. Mm -hmm. Like, you cannot get anything Any else than this. This motor should make like around 3,000 horsepower. And so he's wanting to take this car to the next level, but he's got too many cars. MMR built him this motor. This is the third time they've built him a motor and it's blown up every time. Mm. It never even has made a pass. It's, right. it's always yeah, blown I, up I on the dyno. Make a full pass. So right now it's got a wiring problem. So Steve has had it for a long time and didn't get it figured out right away because it's, he's got a lot of other projects he was doing. So I've got my wiring guy coming in and this one's actually going in the shop. We're gonna change some wiring around, put new coils on it, and then we should get this thing fired up. This car needs fuel tech on it because right now it's got the Powtech bullshit on it that's outdated. It needs fuel tech mm -hmm. and it needs to be kind of updated and redone. Like this carbon hood is heavier than a fucking factory hood. <laughs> so this would be a good start for a good chassis build on one of these to right. make a badass small tire car out of an S550. It's got a badass chassis on it. Like it's got a badass 750 chassis. So from a 750 to a 60, mm -hmm. like it's 25.5 now. I can have Shane put it in there and it, you add a few bars and rigid some stuff up. Right. This would be like a 25-2 chassis when I'm done with it. Lighten the shit out of it and gut everything off the car. And just, cause it's got a fucking Mark Mickey fucking turbo 400 in it. There's a $30,000 transmission in it. So this car, this has no motor, no transmission. So this was one of his built cars that had a built motor in it. Right. He wanted the built motor for something else, so he took the motor and transmission and used them as cores on a badass billet Noonan that he's putting in another car. 
And so this one has no motor, no transmission, and was just sitting there. And he's like, you want to put a coyote in a Hellcat? And I said, oh, absolutely. Man, that was really I said, sick. because everybody's going to want to know what yeah, that is. That's and so he goes, only if you'll wrap it. He wants it wrapped like that. And I said, well, we'll wrap it like that, but we'll just make it to, because I love this blue. Mm -hmm. And I said, we'll wrap it. We'll put graphics or something. I said, but I'm not wrapping this whole car. Like, this, this car is too pretty. Yeah, hell no. This is a fully loaded carbon interior, like bad bitch, legit Hellcat charger. And so we're putting the 2000 plus horsepower twin turbo Coyote in it with a 4L, 4L80 transmission. So it'll be turbo 400 with overdrive. So now we can run overdrive and heavyweight right. with this. We can run overdrive and heavyweight with that. We can run it with the, the Corvette needs 60 pounds of weight added to it. And I can be 4,000 pounds with me in it. Really? So I got three 20 pound fucking dumbbells that go in it and one 10 pounder just in case the scales are up. So now we're gonna have three legit. They put a weight on overdrive now? Oh yeah, yeah. Overdrive, no, but heavyweight, they've got the weight class set up for oh, it. For, and, so you're talking <coughs> for, um, and I talked to the guys that are helping with 2K because they're redesigning the rules for heavyweight on 2K because everybody bitched because the trucks wouldn't fit. So they are literally redoing all the rules on Texas 2K to fit trucks for heavyweight. Oh, yeah. So we're building all of these to fit those rules specifically and the truck. Because that truck won't be competitive in heavyweight, mm -hmm. but at least it'll fit, right. you know? But this one, that yeah. one, and that other one, both of the Z06s will all fit heavyweight and overdrive class. <laughs> and technically, this one and my Z06 will fit daily driver. No parachute, no nothing. They are legit daily driver, street car, like full interior, heat, air conditioner on E85. Oh, man. On E85. So, like, they can't say shit. I, uh -oh. Wait till you show up with a 2,200 horsepower car in daily driver class. They're going to be like, gonna what be crazy. the fuck? Right? They're going to fire something. So, that's what I'm saying. We are, <laughs> we are literally taking over this fucking marketplace right now to where it doesn't matter if they know us or not, if they like us or not. They're going to know with all this stuff. And this is just part of it. You, you haven't seen the other shit that's still coming. This other black car right here, I just had a phone conversation with that guy last night. This is a pretty badass car that's set up like my black one was. <clears throat> but this one has a built motor. This one has a built motor, built trans, um, and so I think this one's turbo 400, it's caged, it's built motor, built trans, twin turbos, um, and this one still has like partially full interior, so we can set this one up to fit a couple of classes too, and on this one, he wants to get rid of this car, and he wants to get rid of this car for stupid fucking cheap, like stupid cheap. So, yeah, this one's twin. Um, and this one just is waiting. This is right now. We're just waiting on a tune to be set for it. So that way we can get the tune put in it and get this one rocking and rolling. But this guy lives in Abilene. Um, this guy lives. This guy lives in Abilene. And so this is a Gen 2 Coyote. But he's got twin. The I think these are just the comp. The comp. I think, I don't know if they're the on threes or the VS comps or whatever, but it's got all the right shit. It just needs to be Tune. finished. Right. It needs to be, it needs to have a few more things done to it. Like that's an outdated intake. You know what I mean? Right. And if we changed up some stuff on this and put, you know, the right shit to it and got it tuned correctly, this would be a fun car to just have to back it up. Cause I mean, this car is, this car runs really good too. And so a couple of these are, this is the cool part about having a shop is right. now like the guys that are just kind of like giving up on their projects, you, just get them started back up. you get them started back up and you've got like really, really, really good bones. Cause I think these are 64 millimeter turbos or 68s maybe. Uh -huh. Well, I have a set of 72s sitting in the shop right now that came off of Frosty that need to be used. We put 72s on this bitch, change up some shit, get this bitch back updated right. and freshened up. Let her eat. Let her eat. Go have fun with it. You know what I mean? So. And this one's this one's this one's a pretty rowdy car. I mean, it just needs some it needs some love. Nobody's shown it love in a long time. So we're gonna have a corral of some really rowdy yeah. shit. Like, and you can tell we're not just stuck to Ford anymore. Now we're gonna appeal to everybody. You yeah, know, I like, that. I like the Dodge. This thing's this thing's pretty cool, man. Like this thing is 
fairly rowdy. I got the keys up there. Though, so Do you not want it? Did you want it? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I had a challenge. Oh, yeah, yeah, you had a challenge. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you with the challenge. I had a challenge. I had a challenge. I'm not a big fan of these, but like this one made me made me it's, like it. Cause it's, I, I only like it because it's big enough for me. This thing is this thing is stupid rowdy. Like this thing yeah, is stupid rowdy, rowdy bro. And. This one's got the ice tank in the trunk and all that Ooh. stuff, so we can ice it down. It's set up for a two-step. It's got all the trans brake two-step on it and stuff, so yeah, you can leave on a button or leave on a foot brake. It doesn't matter. We just got all the nitrous outlet put on it. We ain't even wired it yet because we ain't sprayed it or nothing, but this thing ought to take about a 600 shot easily. And so it, when you spray it, if this one will stay hooked, when you spray it, this one should be around 23, 2400 to the ground that you're That's utilizing. Crazy. So we have the room over here. So we'll take the coolant tank right. and relocate the coolant tank because you can take this off and put a billet coolant tank up here as a reservoir. So we'll have all of this room right here. And then we're going to take and relocate the power panels and all the boxes and stuff. Relocate them up here as well to where, because there's plenty of room under here. And then you'll have the twin sitting to where they go just out of the top of this. And then put all that together and holy I love the small tire shit. Because right. it's fun, it's great, whatever, right? But, man, if you're not Kenny Hubbard or one of them guys out there running like... You gotta run a number. You gotta run like 360s, 370s anywhere in order to be competitive. And sure. so that's why you look at a lot of these guys that struggle mm -hmm. because... They, they can do it at one track, but they can't go do it at another. And so that's why you have some of these cars that are just fucking dominating, you know, like Salty Bitch and some of them other ones that just dominate the small tire class. Shit, I ain't trying to go compete in that. Yeah, you got yeah, those guys, those guys test a lot. Well, that, dude, the money, money you win in that, even if you went and won every race throughout the year. Yeah, you're not making no money. You're not making money. You're still yeah. losing money. Because yeah. you got to think, you got a $100,000 motor. And you got to refresh them every you other. You got to freshen it up constantly. These, all these right here, dude, you don't take once a year, maybe once a year. Take them apart, check everything, put new head gaskets in them, yeah, freshen course. shit up. I I've blown Man. up Frosty twice. Yeah. I've blown up Frosty twice. I blew it up as soon as we bought it. I took it to XRP. I blew it up at XRP and messed up some stuff in the motor. Luckily, the block was saved. As soon as we got it finished up, Steve literally put it together and got it finished up. We loaded it in a trailer, drove it to Florida for Mod Nationals, and I blew it up on the third pass there. Like, those you know cars, the man, you know the reason why? just pushing them too hard. They're pushing 60 pounds of fucking boost through that motor. Mm. I, mean, okay. I mean, they're sleeved, they're everything, but, man, you just... You, in order to make that kind of power, like you got to push a lot of boost right, through those right, things. Right, That's right. why all these guys they have to maintenance them constantly. I mean, the next level from that's a fucking pro mod, and then you got to tear it down every pass. Yeah, this is our uh, this is our top secret layer, man. I mean, everybody kind of everybody kind of knows we're getting into some stuff, but I don't think they quite know exactly what we're doing. Well, I'm so glad I can't be in the right car. Well, the thing is, is like, like between us three standing here, right? We're pretty tight with just about everybody. Yeah, you sure. know what I mean? Like, sure. there's gonna be some people that don't necessarily like me, but they might like y'all, right? You know, or one of y'all. They ain't gonna like Lamont because he sucks at basketball. <laughs> so, if you're basketball fans, they ain't gonna like Lamont. Lamont needs to be like one of the first black people in NHL. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, we'll just put Lamont yeah, in NHL. He'll play hockey. We'll be like, we got a hockey guy with us too, you know? But we got, we can, he can race. I mean, we got foot race. races beat, so we know we're going to make money somewhere on the right, weekend right, with a right. long foot racing. So, and then, like, having that truck, man, like, when these guys, like, that Cobra Jet, right, that guy has called three or four shops. It's an older guy. Uh -huh. The only way he has to haul that car, because it's a legit race car, is he has a stacker trailer with a toter. Oh, no. Nah. And he's like, man, I, can't I really don't want to. He's like, I can bring it, but I got to, like, plan it because I don't want to just hook all this up and just to come bring it. He lived four miles from here. He's like, it's I'm thinking about just driving it. And I said, I got a tow truck. He's right. like, what? I said, yeah. He's like, well, what does that cost? I said, for customers, absolutely nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Now, you're going to spend money with us. Right. You know, I, I want to get your car in here. So that's what we did. That's exactly what we did.